Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. This is my next video on the topic Term Symbols. And here in this video, I am going to discuss about the writing of microstates for P2 configuration and from microstates to determination of term symbols. So let's start with the video. So here first what we are going to do, we are first calculate the number of microstates possible for this P2 configuration. So how we are going to calculate the number of microstates? So there is a formula to calculate the number of microstates that is factorial n divided by factorial e factorial h. So here factorial n is the maximum occupancy of that orbital. So I have chosen here p orbital. So p orbital can accommodate maximum 6 electrons and e is the number of electrons which are present in that particular orbital. So 2 electrons are present in this orbital. So e is equal to 2. h is the number of holes and this holes can be calculated by subtracting 6 minus 2 so we get 4 so here in this case we are having 4 holes so you can understand this 4 holes like this this is our p orbital and here this p orbital accommodates 2 electrons right so rest are the vacancies so it has 4 holes right in this manner you can understand the number of holes now putting all these values here in this formula, so these values here 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial divided by 4 factorial. So how I am going to solve this? So 6 factorial is equal to 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So rather writing that, I am just writing 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial means 2 into 1 into 4 factorial. So 4 factorial will be cancelled out by 4 factorial and here this is cancelled out by this 2 3 is a 6 and 3 5 is a 15 so all together we get 15 number of micro states here i have written this 15 so before writing the micro state i am just writing the possible arrangements for one electron in the p orbital so this is our p orbital and it has ml values about this ml value i have discussed in detail in my previous video where I have discussed how to write the microstates. So you must go and check that video. So here this p orbital has values of ml plus 1, 0 and minus 1. And here in this case the electrons can occupy this or this or in opposite direction it can occupy like this. Right? So there are 6 possibilities for this one electron in a p orbital. With respect to this one electron, we have to arrange the second electron which produces the different values of ml and ms. So that is how we have to write the microstates. These are the 15 blocks, right? And each block contains three columns here. So we are filling two electrons in these 15 blocks in such a way that it produces different values of ml and ms. How we are going to write those different arrangements. So I will give you a very simple easy trick. So since p orbital is having these three orbitals px, py and pz and it maximum occupies six electrons altogether. So first Step number 1, you just write n minus 1 number. So it is equal to 6 minus 1 gives us 5. Now moving to the 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? So up to this much we have to write. Since it can accommodate maximum 6, so 3 is the half value. Half filled. It is half filled with 3 electrons. So up to 3 electrons, half filled value we will write the up spins right and after this half filled we will go with opposite arrangements so here i am just showing you how we are going to write this so five numbers are there in the first column one two three four and five in the next column we have to write four up spins 1, 2, 3, and 4. In the next column, we have to write 3 up spins. 
so 5 4 3 now what about 2 and 1 so 2 you start with the first column again 2 down spins as I said after half filled or 3 numbers we have to move with down spin so in the first column I have written 2 down spins and now 1 1 is in the next column right so this is how we will arrange first electron in these 15 columns right so I hope you find it easy now about the second electron so to fill the second electron the second important thing which you need to remember since it can maximum occupy three down spins right maximum three down spins so we will go with three down spins first here i am showing you like this okay so three down spins in this manner first column second column and third column now out of these five three are now filled what about these two so these two will be filled with the up spins and that up spins will come on the right hand side only here i am showing you so in the second column up spin and drop the second column go move to the third column up spin right now what about these four so three will be occupied by down spins so first column down spin, second column down spin, third column down spins. Now one is left. Here one is left. So what we will do with this up spin? So the next will go with the up spin on the right hand side. Here you just see. Now here in the next set, what we are going to do? Again we are filling the three down spin. So first column, second column, and third column. In this manner we are again. Now no up spin is left for this third column right so we are not feeling that now what about this so for this we have to move on the right hand side columns and with down spins so here in the in the second column we have to put the down spin and we will left this for the next row and in the next column we will put this down spin again down spin on the right hand so these are the 15 arrangements here i am again writing for your information right so first five because maximum occupancy is six so start with the five three four five now four one two three and four now three one two three now it is the half filled three number so two down spins next down spin one now what about the filling of second electron so second electron it is easy to remember that start with the first column and go with three down spin if there is left as it is left here so on the right hand side put the up spin next go with the down spins three down spin one is left here one is left so up spin on the right hand side now go with down spins and now go with down spins on the right hand side now go with down spins on the right hand side so this is how you can write the micro states for p2 configuration this is the simplest way which i have found out right now for these micro states we have to write the ml and ms values so how these ml and ms values we can write so just to write the ml and ms ms stands for the spin ml stands for the orbital occupancy right first electron is in plus one orbital and the second electron is again in the plus one orbital here you just see here right so first electron is in plus one and second electron is again in plus one so it gives two now both are opposite spins so spin is one by two plus one by two and the second electron have spin minus one by two so this gives zero here right for the second set i am again writing for the second set first electron is in plus one and the second electron is with zero so we get one value one plus zero now both are in opposite spins so we are getting zero for the third set here plus one and minus one this gives zero and both are in opposite spins so it gives zero for the next one right so here plus one and zero so we will get one and both are up spins so for up spins 
वी आर गेटिंग वैल्यू वन ओके तो इन दिस मैनर वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम एल एंड एम एस फॉर बोथ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हेयर आई एम इलेबोरेटिंग ऑल दिस जस्ट टू सेव द टाइम तो दीज आर माई एम एल एंड एम एस वैल्यूज फॉर दीज फिफ्टीन सेट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन राइट ओके हेयर यू मे हैव ए क्वेश्चन दिस सेवेंथ हैज जीरो जीरो एंड दिस टेंथ अगेन हैज जीरो जीरो वैल्यूज तो वाई वी हैव रिपीटेड दिस ओके फाइन so this seventh has this type of arrangement and this tenth has different type of arrangement this so arrangements are different though we do have the values same we consider such type of microstates as i discussed in my previous video i have discussed all things in the detail so these two values we have to consider because they have different type of arrangements of their electrons right now these are the values and out of these 15 microstates or ml and ms values we are going to draw the term symbols so for that what we have to do first we have to identify the maximum value of ml and corresponding to that what is the ms value so the first highest value is 2 so we will move with this 2 right first second value is 1 and 1 and the third value is 0 and 0 so here i will explain all such thing so for this 2 and 0 value once you identify this so you apply this formula ml has values plus l to minus l and ms has values plus s to minus s right so in this manner ml has values plus 2 to minus 2 here you can see plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 1 will gives us 1 One minus one gives us zero. Zero minus one gives us minus one, and minus one minus one will gives us minus two. These are the five values for this maximum L value two, right? So in this manner, I have just arranged all these which are highlighted with this blue color. These are the micro states, and their serial numbers are here just for your information, so that you can match that. so here ml values are these corresponding to this 2 and 0 and ms has zero value from this we can write down the value of total orbital angular momentum and total spin angular momentum so orbital angular momentum has value 2 which is the maximum value of ml and s has the value 0 and from this l and s we are assign the term symbol so for this 2 L is equal to zero corresponds to S state. L is equal to one corresponds to P state. L is equal to two corresponds to D state. So here L is equal to two, so it corresponds to D state. And from this zero, we are going to calculate the multiplicity, which is two S plus one. So on putting the value of zero here, we are getting one. So D one is the term symbol for this two zero set of micro states. and what about the degeneracy of this set so degeneracy we can calculate by 2l plus 1 into 2s plus 1 right so this after putting these values we are getting 5 so it is 5 times degenerate so degeneracy of this d1 symbol is 5 this is the formula to calculate the degeneracy now moving further say i have selected the 1 and 1 value so plus 1 Zero and minus one will be the values of ML corresponding to L is equal to one, right? And for S is equal to one, MS has values plus one, zero and minus one, right? So here from these values, we are just first go with this MS value. MS has plus one. For this plus one, we are moving with plus one, zero and minus one values of ML. the next set we are taking is zero for ms and for this we are moving with this dl value and the next step is minus 1 so here we are having this l values okay so in this manner we are having different sets for this ms right and for this here corresponding to this ml value we are having l is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1 now assign the term symbol for this 
so this l corresponds to p state and by calculating the multiplicity to s plus 1 we are getting 3 so 3p is the term symbol from these nine micro states here up to this much we are having 14 states so here only this term is left and for this we are having l is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 so assigning that term symbol for this so we are having 1s term symbol for this now assigning the term symbols for 2p configuration all together so 3p 210, 1D2 and 1S0. Now you may have a question from where these subscripts come from. So these subscripts are nothing else. They are, these are J values that is total angular momentum and which has values L plus S2, L minus S differing by 1. So for this if we are calculating L is 1, S is 1. So L plus s gives us 2 l minus s gives us 0 and if i subtract 1 from this 2 i will get 1 and when 1 subtracted from this 1 i will get 0 so these three values exist for this 3p term symbol now what about this 1d so 1d has values l plus s and l minus s both are 2 so this has subscript or j value 2 and for this 0 minus 0 gives us 0. So 1 is 0. So these three term symbols are possible for this P2 configuration. And these are derived from their microstates. Okay, the next alternative method to write the P2 configuration is this. As I told you earlier, so one electron in P2 configuration can have maximum six arrangements. And corresponding to this one electron, we have to write the second electron. So here we just first assign all these six states as A, B, C, D. So in case of one, here we will stick with this A. I selected this A and I will move along with this. I will write like A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F, right? In this manner. So these are the arrangements. In the second step, I will stick with this B and I will move for further elements of this series. Now for the third set, we are moving to this C and we will move towards the right hand side. So C, D, C, E, E, F. And similarly for D, E and D, F and E, F. So these are the 15 microstates for this p2 configuration and for all these microstates we can write down the ml and ms values so how we are going to write the ml and ms values i am elaborating with this example so here first electron is in a and second electron is in b it has ml value 1 and it has ml value 0 so 1 plus 0 will gives us 1 what about their spin states? Both are up spin, so they will give plus half plus half one. Similarly, I can explain with another example, say A F. So A is my plus one, F is my minus one. So these two will give us zero. This is the fifth state. So here fifth state is this. So M L has value zero. What about M S? M S again A has up spin and this F has down spin. So we are having 0 again. So in this manner we can write down all the values of ML and MS for all these 15 microstates and from these ML and MS values we are assigned the term symbol as I have done for the microstates in my previous slide. So you can calculate in either way, either this method and by that method. So I hope you find this lecture helpful. And uh, if you find this lecture helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.